Hello all and welcome once again to another episode of Everyday Black History. Now today on Everyday Black History, we're going to be highlighting a sister by the name of Marie Van Britten Brown. And Marie Van Britten Brown, along with her husband, were the originators of the home security system, which they applied for the patent in 1966, and it was granted in 1969. Now just a little background information on Marie Brown. Uh, she was born in Massachusetts, um, and she, uh, her mother's roots originated from Pennsylvania. And her and her husband resided in the Queens area of New York. Now, she worked as a nurse, and her husband was an electronics technician. So, they didn't always have normal working hours or work at the same time. Now... They had two children together, one of which, her daughter, became uh, a nurse following in her mom's footsteps, and she also was a creator of her, her own uh, excuse me of her own inventions. She was also a creator of her own inventions, so we can see that <laughs> that actually ran in the family. Now, the inspiration for her invention uh, came because she noticed how long it would take for police to arrive at her house or to arrive in the area when they were being called by the residents. During this time, uh, Queens, the five boroughs in New York, uh, were very crime-ridden, and she was living in Jamaica, Queens, which was at the time uh, a high-crime area. So she noticed that whenever the residents would call the police, it would take them a long time to get there. And since her and her husband, as mentioned, didn't work the same hours all the time, Sometimes she would be home alone at nighttime while her husband was at work. Having to answer the door to know who was on the other side was something that she didn't like to do or feel safe doing. So her system had a setup of four peepholes in a camera that could slide up and down to look at each one. Anything and everything the camera picked up appeared on a monitor inside the house. Also, a resident could not could unlatch the door by remote control. The system included a device to enable the homeowner to use a television set to view the person at the door and hear the caller's voice. The home security system that she and her husband invented allowed uh, a monitor to be in a different room, and all of this was possible via a radio-controlled wireless system. If the person viewing the images on the monitor did not feel safe, they could press the button that would send an alarm to police or to security. She and her husband uh, were cited along with other invent- other two other inventors uh, for the patent. The two other inventors were Edward uh, Finey and Thomas J. Reardon. Thirteen invention- inventors who came along after Marie have called her patent with the latest Uh, being in 2013 as an inspiration for their inventions. Even now, over 50 years later, her invention is still being used by smaller businesses and living facilities. Any store or business that you go to, you see cameras wired all around the place. In New York and London, certain big cities, there are cameras all over the city. Now imagine, who would have ever thought that the inspiration for that, the first inventor of that, was a black woman born in Massachusetts and raised in Queens, New York by the name of Marie Van Britten Brown. Now, although the system was originally intended for domestic uses, many businesses began to adopt the system due to its effectiveness, as we just mentioned. For her invention, she received an award from the National Science Committee. So, we can see that Marie Van, uh, Van Britten Brown was definitely an inspiration to other inventors as mentioned there were 13 inventors who came along after her inventors who um, invented uh, or improved on the home security system that she initially invented they cited her as an inspiration so that right there shows her contribution to culture to uh, and, and her inspiration to uh, future inventors and future scientists so marie van Britten brown uh, we thank you for your contribution and for um, 
your contribution to black history and black culture and the inspiration that you provide to black men, men and women uh, during the time when you are alive and even now. We salute you and we thank you for your contribution. So now that concludes this episode of Everyday Black History. Please tune in again as we'll be having more people that uh, and institutions that we'll be highlighting in their contribution to black history and black culture. But as I mentioned all the time, do yourself a favor and look up Marie Van Britten Brown um, and her invention and um, how she contributed to black history and black culture. All right. So stay tuned for the next episode as we'll be coming at you real, real soon.